Behind me you can see November 4-2 Charlie Uniform, which is our fourth CH-47. It's just come out of a heavy maintenance reset. The team has been working very hard on it, getting the avionics, the mechanical, and the paint complete. It's got the new RADS-L system installed in it, and it'll be heading down to Southern California where it'll be going on contract in the LA Basin with Orange County Fire Authority. And this will be the first NVG-equipped super heavy that'll be running 24-hour ops. In the military, they trained us to fly in a chaotic environment uh, with NVGs. That training directly correlates to, to flying on fires having the unexpected happen all the time. Doing it at night, fire conditions are decreased significantly. The fire isn't progressing as fast, so it allows us to make progress with the fire. And night vision goggles allow you to see through some obscurities like smoke that you would run into in a fire environment. Here at Colson, we now have a MVG training program, so we can train all of our pilots to use night vision goggles to fight the fire 24-7. Everything we have in this company, we do to the tens. Our paint scheme behind us is one example of how the aircraft looks nice, but not only does it look nice, it serves a safety function as well. The contrast in colors with black and white really shows up on blue sky, overcast smoky conditions, or in the mountains areas at a great distance. So it increases a lot of safety for us there as well. This is our second RADS-L system that will be deployed out. The first one has been working with CAL FIRE in the state of California for the last few months. It's been doing an excellent job, and it's really showing off its unique capabilities. The tank system really allows us to put that product, that water, the gel, the retardant, where the firefighters need it the most. And we have up to 16 different coverage levels that we can vary our flow rates to, which is many more than any of the other helic tankers in the market right now. We can do all that on the fly, on a touchscreen controller, in the cockpit. We can also split drop our load, so we can do a 25%, a 50, a 75, or we can start and stop it as the pilot wishes just by pushing the switch. The other thing that sets this aircraft apart from any other heli tanker in the world is our retractable pond snorkel. Having that be able to retract into the aircraft, it takes away all the V&E restrictions that we have with this platform. So uh, we can take it right up to the max speed allowable for the payload that we're carrying. And that's much faster than any other aircraft out there. In addition to that, the fuel burn on this aircraft, because it has dual FADEC engines, it's super efficient on fuel burn rates compared to some of the other legacy aircraft you see out there in the fires. This is the fourth CH-47 coming out of inspection check. We worked really hard this year to get the three online that we've already committed to. It's been a big job over the last year. We have an excellent team here that modifies the aircraft to put out a great product. Bring what we've learned from the large air tankers and the fixed wing side and incorporate some of that technology into this just shows the vision and the ownership side of where they're thinking this is gonna go in the next five to 10 years. 